Okay, this is going to be a quick little video on a hydraulic downfeed system for a, any 4x6 bandsaw, like a Eastwood, Harbor Freight, um, Jet, um, a lot of manufacturers make them. They all basically copy the same exact design and they just change the price. Honestly, just go with the cheapest one if you do get a 4x6 bandsaw um, because they're even the Harbor Freight to the Jet they're all the same the only difference is the price the jet is like eight hundred dollars this eastwood was seven hundred dollars and the harbor freight which i've had in the past and used for a very long time was a little over three hundred dollars so just get the harbor freight one but anyway so this cylinder is a stainless steel pneumatic cylinder it is one and a half inch bore with a five eighth inch rod um, the knuckle did not come with it and if you do buy a pneumatic cylinder without the knuckle the rod will be threaded and you're gonna have to be able to identify the thread um, however you identify thread either sitting there mat trying to match bolts to the thread or if you actually have a thread identifier tool which once you have one of those tools they're indisposable they really are so most of this is stainless steel. The two barb fittings are quarter inch NPT to 3 8 hose barb. Those are 316L stainless. This ball valve quarter inch NPT, um, male on one end and female on the other end, that is also 316L stainless steel. I did buy 316L stainless steel for these fittings, but it was just a regular 90 degree um, male on either end. And because of this hydraulic free flow valve it is too large as you can see it's about an inch thick and it was touching so I couldn't have that that also explains why there's that tear there so I had to take that all apart and get a street elbow a two inch nipple and now it it works fine I do have an air bubble in the system I'm not too worried about that um, but if it does it does compress as the liquid does not compress so it is better if you don't have air bubbles in the system but sometimes filling one of these is more difficult than not unless you have an escape valve where you can fill it from there and you can get every ounce or gram of air out so with the control feed you can use a needle valve like a, a standard needle valve but you won't be able to control well you'll be able to control it but it's more of a pain in the butt than anything because you can control the down feed but as you go to lift it up you'll have to open the needle valve all the way so what you want to get is a free flow valve where it's closed now let me open it and we'll start lowering Come on, a little more, there you go. So you can lower it slowly, open it up, speed it up. You can close it to slow it down or stop it, either one. But the cool thing about the free flow valve that you can't do with the regular needle valve is you can close it all the way and you can still open it freely. So keep in mind, a free flow valve, they're more expensive. Look at that air, my gosh. Anyway, a free flow valve is more expensive. This one was $50, you can get them for cheaper. You can pay 20 bucks, but the, you know, you, you get what you pay for. So the quality, you have to keep that in mind. I plan on keeping this for a long time. That's why most of everything is stainless steel, but it was also very expensive. <sighs> So yes, keep that in mind because I did buy a cheaper one that was $20 and it didn't work like that. It didn't work very well at all. So a free flow in one direction and then a controlled flow in the other direction. That's what you want for something like this. And just to add in, as far as the Eastwood bandsaw goes, eh, their quality is bleh but their customer service is very well. When I first got this, the top wheel 
Um, it was very cold here. It was probably negative 10 degrees for a while. I'm up north in Massachusetts um, where the weather sucks. Yesterday it was 20 degrees. Today is 50 degrees. You know, welcome to New England. But the wheel shattered and I was actually quite surprised by that. But I ended up looking at the wheel casting and it looked like there was some impurities stuck in there and you know high stress areas so it ended up shattering but they ended up sending me a new one which is awesome because these do come with a warranty but like i said you know if you're gonna get one of these you might as well just get the harbor freight they have good uh customer service as well and they're half the price so you can do one of these cylinders i wouldn't go less than an inch like an inch bore but the rod i wouldn't go less than a half inch you can go less than a half inch but i wouldn't um, some people like to stack weights and other things on these to get them to cut faster but if you're using a hydraulic down feed then you, know, you really shouldn't be stacking weight on it. It also puts more pressure on your cylinder. Just from the head coming down, it's probably, it can make about 100 PSI in the cylinder. And adding weight is just gonna add to that pressure. So keep that in mind. Um, if anyone has any questions about this setup, um, just throw it in the comment box below. I'll get back to everyone. Um, and everything was purchased off Amazon. So, all right, catch you later.